What's up guys? In this video, we're gonna be going over my day trading home setup with a PC gaming tower, multiple displays, and I'll be breaking down all the tech specs and the cost as well. But that's not all. It's great to have all these really fast executions and powerful machine and everything else, but um, I'm an Asian grandma getting old here from staring at the tape and level two all day. I need to make sure that my eyes, my legs, my knees, and the especially my back is taken care of and I'm able to do that today with the help of autonomous so I'll be going over both my computer and ergonomic setup here so you can stay healthy protect your eyes and your body while you day trade before we start make sure to drop a like at the bottom of the video to make it rain Lamborghinis so that starts with my PC gaming tower with all of these RGB lights because that's what all the cool kids are doing nowadays. And here are the tech specs for the tower. The CPU is Intel i5-9600 hexacore. The GPU is NVIDIA RTX 2060. So yeah, it's a very fast processor and a graphics card. This build also has 16 gigs of RAM, 240 gigs of solid state drive, and two terabytes of standard disk drive. And uh, it's very unnecessary I know but it also has water cooling. I will say though even after all these years of using this home PC setup and my travel setup if you're asking me today hey humble trader what exactly does all that technical jargon mean? I will still tell you I have no clue especially the the water cooling. Just kidding of course I know what they all mean just just let me google it first. You know what they say, there are three important people you want to keep close to in your life. A good lawyer, a good accountant, and a good husband. Just, just kidding. You just need a good search engine. Okay, all bad jokes aside, I've had this day trading PC setup for almost two years now and I'm extremely happy with the performance speed. It handles all my charts, multiple broker platforms, scanners, and my pre-market conference calls with my trading chat room seamlessly and I've never had any issues. And guess what? I got this extremely powerful PC build for only 1100 US. That's an amazing deal which is only about $1,570 Canadian. Okay, next we have my four monitors over here. These are four LG 24-inch LED monitors with 75 hertz of refresh rate. The colors are really amazing on these displays, but I do feel like they are a little bit too small. These monitors were really cheap. I got them on sale for $120 each. I think you should be able to get them for even cheaper now since they are the older models. The colors are amazing and they were great for about 6 months. But as I started running more platforms and more programs and opening more windows, brokers, I definitely want bigger screens soon. Currently, I'm waiting to upgrade to some 32-inch Dell 4K monitors. I'm just waiting for that sale right now. The way the four monitors are connected right now is very simple. They are connected with two HDMI cables and two DPI cables that goes directly to my graphics card, the NVIDIA RTX, which has four ports, so it makes things really simple. And they are mounted on this quad monitor mount right here. It's very sturdy. I got this from Amazon for about... It's shaking right now. Don't die, don't die. I swear it's usually really, really sturdy. Stay, stay. The only issue I have with this monitor mount is that even after years of using it, it's still impossible to align the gaps over here. Like it's always just like slightly off. You can't have them close completely and be straightened completely. So there's always these gaps and offsets that's constantly triggering my OCD tendencies. Because of this, I haven't had a good night's sleep in about a year. Now let's talk about the rest of the stuff here on my desk. A very key update I've done recently is that finally, after all these years of trading in front of the computer with a sore back and a sore neck, I finally updated to a standing desk 
and an ergonomic chair. A big thank you to Autonomous for providing me these products to try. I was so tired sitting all day in front of my trading computer. As you guys saw in many of my videos, I sometimes will stand up to stretch, but if I see a stock popping up or a setup setting up on my scanners, then I'll have to bend my back to look at what's going on on the screens. Doing that once or twice is fine, but try doing that 10 times a day and 5 days a week. That's incredibly straining on your body. This standing desk I'm using right now is the Smart Desk 2, extra large. I can now preset the desk to my usual standing and sitting heights over here. So now I can very easily change things up throughout the day. So my legs, my knees, and my back can all get the balanced rest they deserve after a full day of trading and smashing bids. Visually, this standing desk is really minimal and very sleek. Now looking in hindsight, I kind of wish I picked a lighter color like the white or the light gray they have on the website. But I think I picked a dark color on the surface and the legs because I wanted them to match the dark circles under my eyes. Besides the standing desk, I also really needed a better ergonomic chair. And Autonomous matched my standing desk with Ergo Chair 2. This chair is so comfortable to sit in. It offers a tilt tension mechanism with lots of flexible support. I can adjust the angle and the height of the seat, the armrest, and even the headrest as well. And this back mesh material is very breathable and flexible as well, which is perfect for the summer. So now we have the standing desk and an ergo chair. But as you can see, my short little feet don't touch the ground while I'm sitting on the chair, even though it's already adjusted to the lowest height possible. So that's why I have underneath my desk a foot rest. This allows my feet to feel supported and rest comfortably while I'm sitting down and working on my computer. Wow, I sound really like an old Asian grandma right now. Now we have our back, legs, and our feet covered. By the way, these are really cute polar bear slippers I got from Taiwan. The next part that's also very important is my eyes. Have you stared at a level 2 tape and a candlestick chart all day from trading and feel extreme eye strain? Yeah, I felt that too. That's why it's very important that I have enough lighting around the monitors and to make sure there's no glare, so my eyes don't have to work too hard. This year, I have my monitors lit up with BenQ Screen Bar Plus. Special thanks to BenQ for sending me these lights to try. I tried both the original Screen Bar and as well as the improved plus version over here. I can honestly say that this BenQ lamp is a game changer. Before, I used to have table lamps right beside my monitor that would create a lot of glare on the screen and a lot of clutter around the space. But now I can simply hook the lamp on the top of my monitor. The lamp comes with a really cool control dial. You can press a button to let the light automatically adjust to the brightness and the color with a built-in sensor. Or I can switch to manual mode and adjust the color and the brightness myself. I can even take this lamp off and put it on my personal laptop as well. I really like the BenQ Lite Screen Bar Plus, the updated version, but the original one? Not so much. And yeah, so that's why I prefer the new one. What also really helps with my eye strain are the blue light blocker glasses I have on right here. These are pretty standard, you can get them almost anywhere nowadays. I've gotten a lot of compliments on these pair of glasses. I got them from Bailey Nelson for about $250 Canadian. I recently updated my keyboard and the mouse as well. I have the Logitech MX Vertical Mouse. This mouse is great for people with tightness on their forearm or the wrist from carpal tunnel. Like I mentioned before in my videos, my right arm is fucked from my previous job in film and VFX. So that's why using a vertical mouse really helps me improve my arm muscles from feeling sore and really tight. Some other alternative mouse options are the original Logitech MX Master for people who have normal and healthy arms, and the MX Ergo for those with wrist problems who want even more care. I really like the MX Mouse series because of the Logitech flow. 
This program allows me to use the same mouse on multiple computers between my PC and my MacBook. And I can use the mouse both wireless and tethered as well, which is a big deal for day trading. This Logitech vertical mouse is a little bit more expensive though. It's about $92 US or $120 in Canada. Finally, we can talk about my keyboard, which is a Corsair K68 mechanical RGB keyboard. While many people think the bounces and the sound from the mechanical keyboard is annoying, I actually love it. I really enjoy the tactile feeling and the bounces, and uh, I like using these much more than the keys on my gaming laptop. As full-time day traders, we spend a good 8 to 12 hours a day in front of our computers. So it's definitely worth the investment to look into standing desks, lights, glasses, and chairs that will make you healthy and comfortable as you're trading. I'll leave all the computer specs and all the products I mentioned in the description below. Let me know in the comment section below what kind of trading computer do you have? Are you currently using a standing desk or an ergo chair? And what are you doing to reduce your eye strain? I'd love to hear more opinions as well. If you enjoyed this video and the bad jokes, please remember to drop a like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. I'm the Humble Trader and I'll see you guys next week. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and the bad jokes. If you want to see more day trading content, make sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitter and Instagram for more. If you'd like to trade with me daily and get my free weekend watch list and trading journal, make sure to check out the links below for more resources. Stay green, stay positive, and I'll see you guys next time.